Hi everyone, this is Daria from MeshBodyAddicts.com and today I'm back with a tutorial video. So this is a bit of a, a mesh heads or a bento mesh head 101 um, combined with a little bit of a reshoot for mesh body 101. So I figured because I've had a few requests for it and uh, and thank you for those that, uh, that put forward the suggestion I figured I would go back to system body, which is why I look as sexy as I do right now. I know, I know you're thinking, where did she get that? Um, because obviously you want to look like this. Well, <laughs> it was in my Linden Labs inventory library. <laughs> because I don't own a single piece of system layer clothing anymore. Um, and the, the skin of the shape is, is pink fuel. Um, and the hair is from Truth. Uh, they are probably the the only pretty things about me right now, but uh, but that's okay. So let's go back to basics. So the first thing that uh, that I want to do is just show you guys, um, I suppose how how you go about it, how you start, how you you know you, you find a bento mesh head, how you decide if it's the one that you want. All of that sort of stuff. Um, my settings are a bit low at the moment because my computer has been a pain in the ass. Um, so forgive me for that. But first things first, let's go to Matreya. So I'll go to Matreya purely just because it's the most popular body uh, and will we'll get me a mesh body. And I'll do that just super quick just so you guys can see how that works. Now, I'm not going to buy the body again, obviously, uh, but what I will do is get me a re-delivery. So, let's go find, oh, jeez, look at those shoulders. They just swing. I've got boobs on my back, Jesus Christ. Okay, so now I'm at Matreya and uh, am no doubt going to get hit on because of my sexiness. And let's get a re-delivery. Own too much stuff. There we go. Cheers, is. Oh wait, I'm in unavailable, so it's probably not going to come through, is it? Ah, bugger. All right, come through. It's okay, I took myself off unavailable. You can send it to me. No, you're really not. Now you're gonna have to see people talking to each other. Not much I can do about that because it's not gonna send it to me when I'm unavailable. Okay, let's go back to my skybox. Land in my clothing rack, because that's how I roll. Okay, so, where's my, where did it go? I got a re-delivery. I accepted it. What the hell? God damn it. Second life. Hates everyone equally, people. Oh, it was there. I'm a numpty. Okay. And you're not going to go on there because that's a mesh base. Okay. So. Betray body. Let's get this put on. And I'll put me into pose mode while I do that out my rubbish because I'm OCD. All right, so putting on a mesh body. Oh my god, I'm an idiot. I had a filter on. Don't be as stupid as me, people. Just don't. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to leave all that in. I'm just going to leave it in because you know what? This is SL and it happens. If you have a filter on, sometimes you'll be, you know, running around like me going, where the hell? Is my stuff and there you go now you've seen me do it so you know now I'll go back into unavailable to try and stop stuff flashing at me because it's annoying so first things first put the alpha on the alpha will hide your whole system body now because I only have system clothing on 
it's hidden all of that as well. All right, if you have mesh clothing on, you may have to take that off. But basically what that alpha does is hide absolutely everything so that I'm now a uh, discombobulated head. Yay! So in here in the folder, you'll see some shape suggestions from Onyx um, as well as the basics that we need. So we've got bras and panties and all sorts. Firstly, let's just put on Lara 3.5. That's the body. Oh, wait. I better hide me because I totally forgot that YouTube had a total spaz at me because I had pixel nudity. So let me... Yeah. All right. There we go. There you go. Now you can look at me. <laughs> they did. They got very upset. So put the body on. Um, I What I did just then was add the uh, lingerie appliers that come with the body. Uh, you'll find these in your body pack. Um, and uh, so they're done by Zara. Really, really nice. There's also mesh versions. Uh, so mesh options as well. Um, but uh, I'll use the system so that A, I can alpha bits out and B, uh, YouTube doesn't have a cry at me. So now we add the feet because at the moment we had no feet. Uh, add the, or wear the shoe base rather. Uh, and an important thing to remember is when you're doing this, you'll see me right click and then go to add. Always add rather than wear because if you wear other parts of your that your other things that you're wearing may go missing and that's because as you can see here there are a few points in my head uh, my head there are multiple points in the SL body that I've already got things attached to so you can see my right foot there and my avatar center and uh, normally you'd see perhaps um, right hand I've got jewelry on or left peck I've got um, a bag attached or something like that so always add just to be safe Add both my hands and then presto, I have a mesh body on. Add the HUD, which is probably the single most important thing. And I'll drag it down because I, I'm just very particular. So now we have, now everything that you're seeing is the mesh body. This is all the Matreya mesh body and my system head, obviously. So in the HUD, uh, you'll see there are parts where I can make myself invisible in slices. Um, that will help me wear non-fit mesh clothing or fit mesh clothing that has a little bit of a conflict. Um, you'll see layers. So this is where you can turn on and off layers if you apply things to tattoo or to underwear or to clothes. Um, you can clear all the layers. Gloves. So that's when you have um, appliers onto your hands. Shine, if you want to make your body, um, you know, get that oily, wet look uh, under specular lighting. And skins. So the skins here are all glam affair. Uh, I have nail options. So I can click here and click here and it will change my, uh, my nails. Uh, I can also make them different lengths. So I can make them long. Um, now the next size. In your shape, if you have body fat, choose the next size with the number closest to the number of body fat you've got. That way it'll change the size around here a bit. Okay. Um, now neck fix on and off. So this takes it off, this puts it on. And basically it's a, a graded sheath that goes up around the top of the neck a bit just to give it more of a blended look. So let me find my, what am I wearing? Latte. I think I think I should have, so the skin from Pink Fuel I'm wearing is Alex and, um, sorry, I should be going up here, and uh, it's the Latte Tone, so if I go into my appliers, I wonder, oh, I've got vanilla, oh, here we go, I do have Latte for Matreya. So, this is uh, an applier that I bought separately from Pink Fuel as soon as it loads uh, and that's to match this skin tone with the mesh body because now we can't we can't just wear a skin anymore like the skin that I was wearing before um that the Harley skin oh I thought it was Alex oh I'm wearing Harley sorry I'm wearing Harley on an Alex shape 
Um, this skin, as you can tell, is not on this body anymore, and that's because it doesn't respond to the system body. The system body is hidden totally underneath this with the alpha. So to match the head and the body, we need to have that applier. So I bought this from Pink Fuel, so if I add this, then we can now see that I match all over. And ta-da, I have a matching avatar with a mesh body and a system head. Yay! So that's that done. And uh, one thing I like to do, especially if you have a particular skin that you use, if, uh, if you go into skin and options, you can click a save slot and you can save current. And that's saved this applier. So it's saved my, my Latte Harley body applier from Pink Fuel into here so that if I ever change it again because I'm trying other things, I can just click back on here, go to apply, and it will put it right back. Okay, excellent. So let's just move my feet up a little bit. Now that we've, uh, now that we've got our, our mesh body done and ready to go, it's time to get a mesh head if you want to. And, um, and I will just say, if you're really attached to your system head, if you love your system head, if the, the only purpose of you getting a mesh head or a bento mesh head is that you want it to look like your system head, just keep your system head. If you love it, you love it. it there's no need to, to get a bento mesh head or a mesh head if you already love what you look like. Just saying. Now let's go get a bento head. So let's go to Cat One because I can probably get the most humiliation <laughs> by walking around in my underwear. <laughs> oh, let's see if I get kicked out. That uh, that will make me uber popular. Whoops. Now let me just hide names because there are probably going to be people in here trying stuff on who don't want to end up on YouTube. So let's just hide their names for them. Oh, did that even work? Uh, name tags off. Hmm. All right. Oh, it must be look at that's showing up. Okay, not much I can do about that. So let's go into the store. Dibbity, dibbity, dibbity. And uh, hi, people. How are you? Yes, I'm in my underwear. And let's go take a look at mesh heads. Just as soon as stuff freezes in for me. See, this is what my computer's been doing lately. It really doesn't like me. First, the graphics driver made everything go blue. Now it's all lag-tastic. Nah, that'll do. Doobity 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 doo. Oh, there's somebody else in their underwear. I don't feel so bad now. She's probably on the same journey I am. Hi, people. All right. So let's have a look. Now, there are a lot of different mesh head options. I'm just going to Catwa because it keeps coming up as being the most popular on my blog. Um, that way it's just uh, sticking with things. See, she's also got the Maitreya body and the, um, the Maitreya body with the, that's the mesh set sorry person that I'm using as an example so we have frame animations so frame animations these are the heads before bento the only way that they could be animated was frame by frame meaning that if you were yawning for example every frame of opening the mouth had to be a different frame um, that's a really simplistic way of looking at it but that's what frame animations heads are so static heads uh, these have no animations and can't be animated um, and then over here, we start getting into the bento head add-ons. So we have, you know, the bubble gum that she makes and all this other cool stuff. But let's just not get too confused by that. Let's just go straight over to bento heads. So bento heads. Um, the best way to explain bento. I did a video on bento that I, I recommend you look at if you're not sure about what bento is. Uh, because it, it can be really confusing. Essentially... It was the addition of a range of um, both attachment points and rig points within the the skeleton of the DSL body um, that could be used by by mesh creators to 
give them more ability to animate um, without having to do frame by frame uh, and all sorts of things. So I recommend checking out that video if you're not sure. But uh, if we have a look at here now, there's Kimberly and there's Lilo, 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 um, that are right here. So I'm just going to grab one of these. So let's get a demo. Now I recommend um, before you do anything with looking at a, a, a mesh head, whether it's um, Bento or not, um, let go of the way you look system-wise. Um, because as I said, if you love the way you look in your system head, then just keep your system head. There's no need to change. But if you do want to uh, change things up a little bit, it can make it more difficult for you um, to, to do all of this and to, to make a new shape and to look different if you're really attached to it. So let's go in here. Now, first things first, I've got to hide my head. And that's why um, that's why I was, I was saying just <laughs> let it go. Let your head go, people. Um, now, I just use the full avatar alpha. That's because I've, I've obviously got a mesh body covering my body anyway. Uh, if you were using the SL body for whatever reason, you, you'd just use the head and eyes alpha. Let's add Lilo. Now, obviously, being a demo, it's uh, it's going to look a bit funky anyway, but oh, oh, damn, I'm sexy. Look at that chin. Like, you, you just, you just, you couldn't write this shit, people. <laughs> Put my head, uh, my hut on and uh, rigged eyes on. Yeah, let's just put it all on and don't forget the brow shape because uh, believe it or not it makes a huge difference <laughs> she says she looks like a weirdo and let's just go to where for their shape so that uh, I stop looking just a little bit spazzy so that's when we that's where we start now you can see here I've got holes all the way through that's just part of the demo uh, security mechanism you know to prevent copy botting and all that sort of stuff um, so don't worry too much about that. But uh, but this is how we demo. Okay. Now the the Katwa HUD is relatively simple. I, I guess it depends on uh, on what your preference is. Um, the skin that comes with it comes in a variety of tones. Um, it's not really my thing. The skin that comes with it. But uh, but if it is, that's fine. You can use it. If it's not, you can use a any Katwa applier uh, on your head and then start to tweak from there. So let's choose, I should have a pink fuel Katwa applier somewhere amongst the way too many mesh heads that I've bought. Katwa, I could have sworn I had a pink fuel one. Where have I not put it into my ingenious system? Probably not. Uh, ah, there we go. Leah. Let's put that on. Um, so, just like your mesh body, your mesh head won't respond to system skins. Uh, so you'll need an applier, and the applier basically puts that skin onto the mesh. Think of it like uh, like wearing fit mesh clothing. If you want to change the color or the texture, you have to use the HUD, right? That's what we have to do here. So let me move Matreya out of the way. And let's put this one on. So pink fuels, let's just put on no blush. And uh, that will come up in a year now. Here we go. Choose an eyebrow type. I love Pink Fuel's options. She she just is incredible. She has so many options with her her skins. I just ugh, I love her. Um okay, so there we go. So now we've got the Leah on. It's in a different tone to my body, which is why you're seeing the whoops. Which is why you're seeing the color differentiation there. Um so if I go back to my mesh body skin appliers and I go back to pink fuel 
attach that. Now, this is an important one because I have the Omega body applier for vanilla rather than the Matreya specific applier. For the Matreya body, you need to use an Omega relay. Now, I've already bought this, but you can buy it on the MBA Sim uh, Marketplace or at the Omega location. Um, and what it will do is essentially just put on a, uh, a little HUD. There we go. Um, so it's just put on a, uh, a little relay HUD uh, that basically tells this applier to apply it to this body. Okay, it sounds more difficult than it is really I'm just going to end up pressing a button anyway and it's going to do it all for me because it's awesome. So we'll apply this one. Now you'll notice um, the the neck sheath sometimes doesn't uh, get tinted with Omega appliers. That's because it's a more generic applier. It doesn't really compensate for that. Um, but that's fine. You can quite literally just turn that off. Yay! So let's get out of here because it's getting crowded and laggy. And let's go back to the skybox. Any year now. Okay. So. <clears throat> let's put me back in pose mode. I shouldn't say pose mode. It's not pose mode. I'm talking about... <laughs> I'm talking like Blender, um, back into my pose stand thing. And here we go. So now we have a bento head um, with a Matreya body and I've achieved the way the face looks as opposed to the way it looked when I first put it on uh, by using the shape that came with it. Now I always recommend whatever mesh head you buy uh, for bento, always start with this shape because this is the shape that the creator used in Bento. Uh, so in Bento, in Blender. So when they created this, when they actually sculpted it and molded it before bringing it into SL, this was the base shape. This was the, the way that it looked to them, the way they wanted it to look. From here, you can then edit and tweak, but these are the ideal settings. And I say ideal because when, when they created animations, um, and like such as making the lips move up and down, this is the this is where they were the lips were located. This is the size they were um, when they did all of that. So the animations can get distorted if you go way 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 outside of that. Okay. Um, so now let's have a look. So if we go to edit shape, just like we would with a a system body, we'll find that we can start tweaking things. So eyes. I can shrink them. Now I normally start with the eyes because they're usually, I don't know, they're the biggest deal to me I guess. I like my eyes to look like my eyes. Um, so I start looking at the corner up and down and notice as well it quite often drags the eyebrow down a little bit with it. So if you go too far down for example you might end up looking permanently confused. Um, but I like to even them out a bit with the corners. So let me put the corner here up a little bit. Not too much. Don't want to look too spazzy. And uh, so the anime eyes will make it, will just keep the shape you've got and make it bigger. Um, you don't want to go too crazy with that, but I like to have it up a little bit. Wide will actually pull it down and pull it up a bit. So this is usually where I, where I do most of my tweaking rather than in the anime eyes. Now I've... Making my own circus music while I do it. Eye depth, leave it at 50. Otherwise you're going to start noticing when you go profile. And let me just take my hair off. Oh. Or take my head off. I'm having an awesome day today with this. Oh, there's a big chance you guys might not even see this, but uh, I may just throw caution to the wind and upload it with all my mistakes because that's life. Um, okay, so with the eyes, put you back into post stand. 
Um, <clears throat> with the eyes, when you start pushing it out, you'll notice when you go profile, which is to the side, they're looking really weird. So just keep that around 50. It doesn't do anything other than push them forward, which, you know, nobody really has eyes like that. Um, go back. I've gone out of it now, haven't I? Of course I have. I got too busy talking. Um, so, eye opening. That's about right. And, and honestly, you'll spend more time with this first shape than you will doing anything else because this is where you first make you. And you'll notice as well that the skin makes a huge difference. If you, if you just cannot get it looking the way you want it to look, it could very well be the skin. Um, and as much as you love the skin, it may, it just may not work all that well with, with a bento head or with the shape that you want. So keep in mind um, that that will make a huge difference as well, and I'll show you that in just a little bit. So eye crease. Um, now, eye bags, be very careful because you can pull them down a little bit to give more of a, a wide-eyed look. Um, but if you go too far down, you'll notice that you start clashing quite often with the cheekbone um, or you just <laughs> look like, I don't know, you haven't slept in 60,000 years. Uh, puffy eyelids, I tend to just keep that flat. Eyelashes doesn't matter because it's not rigged. So ears, we can make our ears giant. Um, now, not the other sliders don't really do anything, to be perfectly honest, with ears because um, ears are ears, but the, the ear tips and the ear sides do, so you can tweak that a bit. Now the nose, I like to keep a relatively small nose, and especially when you're playing with the nose, make sure you're constantly going side on. Uh, because, oh my gosh, you can, you can screw that up hardcore. So, let's give me a little bit of a nude. Do, 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 do. Um, I'll show you how, actually. I'll, uh, I'll show you just how you too can look like an umpty. So, you might look at it front on and you're like, oh yeah, that looks good. Upper bridge, you know, I might pull that up or, you know, I'll pull, I'll put that right there, that looks good. Good, oh, no, 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 no. And you'll do all of this sort of stuff because, you know, I'm just making noises because it's probably boring you guys to death. But look at it side on and, oh, yeah. <coughs> oh, yeah. Looking hot. So you can look at it front on and go, oh, perfect. Side on, eh, eh. So <laughs> that's what I mean by just just be careful. Um, the The upper bridge especially is the one that will get you in this area, so... Upper bridge, just be careful. And you can play with obviously how you want your nose to sit and pointy and bulbous and all that sort of stuff. Um, now, the mouth. The mouth is the second thing that I do because eyes and mouth are important to me. So let's have a look at what we can do here. So normally I'll pull the lips in a little bit in terms of wide um, because I don't really love the pouty look. I just... I, I like a little bit of pout, not a huge amount of pout, um, and I'll reduce the fullness. Now, in this model, you'll see there's no teeth, um, so you need to be careful with the mouth because sometimes the teeth will start poking through, um, we, and this is with the all mesh heads, um, so just be mindful of that when you're when you're tweaking the mouth. Um, you don't want to get too, you don't want to go too far to the extremes with it. Um, or you might end up with problems, or you might just end up looking like this chick here. Uh -huh -huh. So now the Lilo head has a bit more of a, a pouty look than Katcha, which is what I use generally if I'm not losing, using uh, La Luca or Genesis Labs. Um, I like to put the edges, corners up just a little bit, just so she doesn't look like quite such a cow. Um, Clef. Uh -huh -huh. God, I should I should just make a museum of terrible shapes. Be every shape I've ever made. I'm so good at making terrible, terrible shapes. And uh, and so yeah, so I'll stop playing with it around about there because um, seriously, this can just go on and on. <laughs> I could tweak this forever. Um, one thing I will say is 
if you've been looking at it for a long time and you're still just like, oh my God, like to me this doesn't look right. So there are a few things you should do. First, just reset your skeleton just to make sure there's no balking in there. And you'll see how I changed a bit there. It was just resetting the look. Um, the second thing is leave it and come back to it tomorrow. Um, because one thing I have noticed about shapes is the longer you look at them, the more distorted they look. Um, and again, it really does have to do with skins. Skin is, is more important than you could possibly know. So let's have a look at another, just another skin. Uh, Izzy's, love Izzy's. Uh, let's just put, let's just apply one. Just to see what it looks like. And, do, 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 do. and you can see the lips didn't change there because I've already got something on it. So let me just clear the lips. You know, it's my shadow. Whatever. Um, and you'll see that it, it looks a lot different. The skin can make a huge amount of difference. And I've noticed this especially with, um, with some skins like details, uh, or glam affair. Because, because they have a lot of detail, especially around the eyes, um, it can make it look really, really strange. So, let's just apply this, for example. Um, and, uh, and you'll see that she's got some shading under here, and sometimes that can start looking really strange, um, with, uh, with some shapes that you make as well. So, if, Make sure that you're not just continuously tweaking your shape because your skin doesn't suit your shape, if that makes sense. Easy way to test, just apply another skin. Just like I did just now, just apply another skin and see what it looks like. And to me, I go, okay, no, I still think, I still think I need to bring this in a little bit and I still think that I need to just shrink my lips a little bit and then it will be ready to go. So just try that. So, this has been going for over 30 minutes and my thingy is flashing at me, telling me that I've been talking forever. So, I'm going to leave it here, but this is the basics of what you need to do, okay? This is the the, the one, two, three, I suppose, of getting ready with a bento head and demoing a bento head and choosing a bento head. Um, and while you're demoing, while you do these shape tweaks, if if you get to a point where you think, no, you just I just can't get it to look like me, scrap it. Get a demo from somewhere else. Try another one. Um, don't be afraid to, to try brands you haven't tried before um, because you, you honestly will never know when you're going to find something that you absolutely love. Um, and don't be afraid to ask questions as well. The Mesh Body Addicts group in World is great for that. Um so feel free to join, ask questions, share experiences and, and all the rest of it. And if you have any suggestions for other tutorials that you would like me to do, or if you'd like me to go more in depth with anything, then leave a comment below, let me know, and I'll make one. All right. So thank you so much, everyone. And uh, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.